Hey everyone, so today I wanted to start a series where I show you how to build out a similar uh, custom user interface in Articulate Storyline 360 using icons within the content library and um, the built-in slide numbering functionality for progress meters. It's got quite a few steps, so I wanted to take um, a few videos to show you just exactly what I did. And today we're going to start at a very, very basic step. So we're going to open up Storyline here and from the Insert tab we have our content library and you can choose any amount of icons that you want. Uh, let's just grab, um, say, a pause button here and insert it. And one thing that you're going to notice is that the pause button, for example, is made up of multiple freeform uh, shapes that are grouped together. So I'm going to delete this from here. And we're going to go into View Slide Master. And this is where I've kind of tossed this, uh, this icon. Uh, you'll see here, let me change it to black so that you can see. So we have a pause icon here and you'll notice that it's grouped and I'm going to change it black back to white. We will exit the slide master and we are going to preview the slide. Now the great thing about the content library is that it has all these different assets that you can download and use and they're free. Uh, they, they're included with your membership. It's no big deal. Um, the one thing that you want to know about the icons in the content library is that if they're made out of multiple parts, not all of those pieces are going to be clickable. So I have this icon set to jump to the next slide when the user clicks. Now if you hover over the large uh, pieces of the pause button, you'll notice that you can click them. There's a clickable icon that appears. If you go into the middle of the pause icon, you'll see that that click goes away. So people can't click. Here, I'm, I'm clicking as hard as I can. And no matter how many times I click this area, we aren't going to get the behavior from the trigger. So you can still use the icons, but you will have to be cognizant of that and you'll have to make one concession. So we're going to close that. Let's go back into our slide master. And I have my icons here. What you're going to need to do is go into, let's see, let's say we'll do both of the states so that either side, it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to double go into the states, double click on the normal and then you're going to insert a shape. And I'm just going to spread it across the full width so that we capture the other, um, the other piece of the pause button. And what you want to do is you want to go to format and your outline is no outline. And then you're going to I'm going to do the fill as white because we have white icons and then you want to right click or control enter and you're going to go into format shape and then you're going to bring the transparency to 99% and close. Then you're going to select done editing states. And now when we go back to that slide and preview that because we have this transparent shape over top you will be able to click anywhere that is covered by the shape. So you'll be able to click either of your pause icons or the blank fill icon. So that's my first tip because we will need to do that for all of these icons that are used on our custom player. And join me tomorrow and I will continue on with this tutorial and show you how I build out each of these icons and their behaviors and explain a little bit more about what it is that we're doing here.